Hello, thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. And today we're looking at interpret the line of best fit. Okay? And I'm going to go over a few different types of problems here. And the first one is interpreting the y intercept. So let's begin. So Nikisha's math teacher plots students' grades on their weekly quizzes against the number of hours they study, or they say they study, on a pair of coordinate axes and then draws a line of best fit. What does the line y intercept represent okay so you've got an x and a y you've got the time spent on the homework and the quiz school and these little yellow dots represent um some of the students scores based on how many hours they study for example this student right here studied half an hour and got just below a 70. so then what we want to do is pick out the one uh, pick out between the multiple choice options, which one represents the y-intercept? Well, what is the y-intercept? The y-intercept is where your line crosses the y-axis. And what they want to know is what's represented. Well, it's got to represent zero time spent studying or zero time spent on the homework. Whatever that is, that's because that's where the y-intercept is. So you're looking for something that has zero time spent on the homework or whatever the x value is if it's the line y-intercept represents. So the y-intercept, it has to have zero for x. So let's see if we can find that through the choices here. How many hours do students spend studying all year? The change in expected quiz scores for every additional one hour study spent uh, one hour students spend on their homework, a prediction of students' quiz scores if they spent one hour on their homework, and a student's expected quiz scores if they spent no time on their homework. No time on their homework. Okay? So that X is represented by no time, which is zero. So that's going to be your correct answer. See that? So on the y-intercept, the most important thing to remember is that the x needs to be 0. All right, let's look at another example. Okay. So interpreting the slope. All right. So a slope represents the change of y based on the x. So you're looking for something that talks about the change of y over x. So let's read the question here. The researchers studied the relationship between the number of times a certain species of cricket will chirp in one minute and the temperature outside. Her data is expressed in a scatter plot and a line of best fit. What does the slope of the line represent? So the chirps per minute is the x. The temperature is the y. So when you see slope, the first thing you need to look for is change, because it's the change in y over x, y over x. So if it doesn't have change in it, then it's not, it's not the one for slope. So here he has uh, how long the crickets contain the chirp, there's no change. Okay. The expected temperature when the crickets chirp one time, that's not change. So. Here, we've got the last two here has the word change in them, okay? So you know it's got to be one of these two. Well, the first one says the expected change in temperature in degrees Fahrenheit, temperature, for each additional cricket chirp in one minute, chirps per minute, y over x. So this would be your correct answer. Okay, the expected change in temperature, y, over each additional cricket chirp, x. Okay, so this one here says the expected change in the number of crickets in one minute for each additional Fahrenheit. So that's the, that's the x over y. You don't want that. You want the y over x. Okay, so that's slope. So we did y-intercept and we did slope. Now let's take a look at interpreting the y value given the x. Okay, so on this one, scatter plot, 
and the line of best fit below so the length of six people's femur uh, the long leg bone in the thigh and the height in centimeters and their height in centimeters what is the meaning of the y value on the line when x is 50. okay so uh, when interpreting the y value given x or interpreting the x value given y it's important to know this that the only actual points are the yellow dots and the line represents speculation or estimation or prediction so if you're looking at something that's on the line it's got to be it can't be actual it has to be an estimate a prediction a guess so let's take a look at a few examples so first what we want to do is look to see x is equal to 50 what is that so what does that mean x equal to 50 it means that is the femur length in centimeters when the femur length is 50 right what does what what's going on all right so so we got a few choices here all right so the expected height of 181.4 centimeters when the femur height femur has a length of 50 centimeters Okay, that's one choice. The height of an actual person when the female length is 181.4 centimeters uh, is 50 centimeters. All right. Uh, the height of an actual person with a femur of 50 centimeters at 181.4 centimeters. An expected height of 50 centimeters when a femur has the length of 181.4 centimeters. So, what they're saying is this. If 50 is your X, that's the femur length. That's that leg bone, whatever that is. That leg bone is 50. They want to know what we got then. So, now they have an actual dot here at 50, but it's way up here at 185. And the numbers they're given are 181.4. So they're talking about not this actual yellow dot, but right here at 50, what is what does that spot on the line represent? So remember, the spot on the line is a guess. So when you come down here, you can eliminate some of the answers by just seeing some of the words. So this one here that says actual person, an actual person, neither one of those work because if you was talking about an actual person you'd be talking about this yellow dot up here which is on 185. so it has to be expected the first one and the fourth one then the only thing you have to do is check to see does the 50 go with the x and the x is the femur length okay so the expected height of 184.4 centimeters when the femur has a length of 50 centimeters female lip. So this is your correct answer right here. Now down here on this other one is the expected height of 50 centimeters of a person when your femur length is 181.4. Saying your leg bone is 184 but you're only 50. That doesn't make any sense. So uh, this would be your answer. But just make sure it's, if it's on the line it's talking about expected and make sure your X is matching the same uh, thing that the, the, the 50 goes with the actual X that's listed here okay so let's take a look at our last example here which is dealing with the X value for a given Y okay so in this one uh, Aaron Aaron decides to research a relationship between the length in inches and the weight of a certain species of catfish he measures the length and weight of a number of species he catches, then throws back into the water. After plotting his data, he draws a line of best fit. What is the meaning of the X value when Y is equal to 49? So now we want to know the meaning of the X when Y is equal to 49. So 49 is on the Y side here. You go up to 45, right a bit here. So right about here. What do we get? Something between 34 and 36? 
So something between 34 and 36. So the catfish, there's two things. One, there's not a yellow dot here, right here. So it's going to be the expected. And two, the 50, the 49 is going with the catfish weight. And the something between 34 and 36 is going with the catfish length. 49 for weight, between 34 and 36 for length. So I'm going to come down here and look to see. Aaron caught a catfish that weighed 49 pounds. That's not because that's a like we talk about expected. Okay. This one says it too. Aaron caught a catfish that's 49 inches long. It's saying that's what happened. But no, we talk about the expected weight. So it's got to be one of these two in the middle. So the expected weight of the catfish that is 49 inches long. Okay, so they're saying, all right, so the weight is 49, which we've determined here. And saying that is the expected, uh, the expected weight of the catfish uh, when it's 49 inches long. No, the 49 goes for the weight. So it's the expected length of the catfish that weighs 49. Notice that the Y is 49. Y is 49, and weight is Y. So the 49 has to go with the weight, okay? So the, they want to know the expected length. And they didn't give us any numbers, but the expected length of the catfish that weighs 49 degrees, okay? So this would be your correct answer. So that's it. That is interpreting the line of best fit. I want to thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's video. Have a nice day.